simplify expressions involving exponents. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we have two to the sixth, which is two times two times two times two times two. We have to write six of these in all. Okay, will that give us four, eight, 16, 32, 64. And luckily for us, 10 to the fourth is just 10 times 10 times 10. I'll put the first 10 here to give myself some room, which is just one with four zeros. So 64 times one with four zeros is just 64 with four zeros. Or 640,000. But it's easier to think of it as 64 with four zeros. Some of these numbers are gonna get big, but I don't think we need to. Okay, so here's an interesting one. You know, again, it's just, this is just going to be a really big number. Um, if you want, you can do a game here where you call this 2 squared, because 4 is 2 squared, to the 7th. Right? So that'll end up being, how do we deal with that? that that's a multiplying exponent. So we'll have 2 to the 14th. So 4 to the 7th is the same as 2 to the 14th. So we'll have 2 to the 14th times 2 to the 7th. And we're learning something because we can write this whole complicated thing as just 2 to the, how do we deal with these exponents? We add them. 2 to the 21st. But you know what, guys? That's going to be a huge number. So we could sit here and, and multiply 2 out by itself 21 times, but I don't think that's in our best interests. I think we got the idea of how to simplify from here. 2 caret 21st. 2097152. Great. Okay, here we don't need assistance. We, we didn't need assistance there either, but this is going to be 10 to the 9th minus 1, because that's how you deal with dividing by powers of 10. You subtract exponents, so this is going to be 10 to the 8th. That one's not a crazy one to do by hand. That's just 1 with 8 zeros. So we'll just be careful. 1, then 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, I really had to have faith in hearing the clicks on that one. Okay, this is a little bit more forgiving. So we have 3 to the 10th over 3 to the 8th, but that's like subtracting exponents, so that'll be 3 to the 10 minus 8, or 3 to the 2nd. Oh, phew, that's not so bad. That's just 9. It's just 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, how about this? Well, again, there's not really any. There, there are not really any shortcuts here. Right? So three to the seventh is a big number. Four to the fourth is a big number. We could do that trick and say it's two squared to the fourth. It doesn't really help us here. Um, it doesn't really help us because it doesn't combine with anything. So I mean, we could just do four times four times four times four, which equals this is sixteen. That's another 16. So that product is 256. So it's 3 to the 7th over 256. And there's just not any simplification to be done. 3 to the 7th, again, just to save us save us some time, I'll just, you know, we'll pick our battles here. 2187. 2187 over 2. Five, six. We can't see it, but it's right. Okay, two to the eighth over five to the tenth. I happen to know that two to the eighth is 256. 
Um, the reason I know that is because 2 to the 8th is the same as 2 squared to the 4th, but that's just 2 squared is 4 to the 4th, so it's the same thing as what we just did. So that's, I mean, that's something we can take away from this problem. There's not much, but we can say that 2 to the 8th is 256 if we're clever and we, we connect it to what the work we've already done. 5 to the 10th, I'm not going to lie to you, it's just, that's just a brute force type thing. Um, so we're not going to do it. So 256, 5 to the 10th. Okay, so we have 9765625. On the top we said was 256. 256. Okay, let's go through some logic here. Um, this is a fun way of doing it. This is an even number. Four to the fifth. It, it's got a four in it, right? So it's an even number. If you multiply numbers by a four, you'll get an even number. This is the only even number here. So it's got to be that. All right, you can never multiply by a four and get an odd number. You can never multiply by a two and get an odd number. So it's the only even number. This one we can just do, right? This is just four to the two minus one, or four to the one, which equals four. And over here, let's use some logic. Two to the eighth is an even number, but it's also, we know it's 256. So we, we actually know it's the top right answer. Um, we, we remember that. And then three to the ninth, um, there is a fun fact about, about multiples of three, but we don't really even need that here. So we will just go with 256 over this. And there's not going to be any simplification of the fraction because two and three are prime and there's no way to cancel anything out. All right, so I hope with the goal of that, I guess, was to sort of like find some cool number tricks um, that will simplify or eliminate wrong answers. So hope you learned something and had fun. See you next time.